hello everyone and welcome back to my channel again dear friends uh, so far we have discussed the passing package for the theory of machines and finite element analysis if you have not watched yet i have provided the link in the description box you can go through and today i am with another important subject that is thermofluidic engineering okay a very important one okay so it is the combination of turbo machine and applied thermodynamics okay so somehow typical to tackle over there so you should not neglect this subject and you should start practice now itself otherwise it will become uh, typical for you people to pass this subject okay so let me discuss here the passing modules first then i will proceed with the another modules if uh, somebody wants to score okay so module 3 it is the passing module in which you have to cover uh, some theoretical questions and derivations like define turbo machine with neat sketch and explain uh, sorry and write down the classifications of the turbo machine is right next is differentiate between turbo machine and positive displacement machines okay most important one and you should derive the euler's turbo equation okay so let me show you the interface of the euler's equation so these are my handwritten notes for this particular model over here so this is your euler's turbo equation okay you have to write down these uh, uh, velocity triangles okay inlet and outlet uh, velocity triangles over there and some assumptions you have to write down okay this is not too much tough this will maybe uh, six or seven marks question in the video examinations okay next is expression for alternate form of euler's turbine equation and next is what is utilization factor okay and relationship between degree of reaction and utilization factor right next is show that for maximum utilization factor of an axial flow turbine with r is equal to 1 upon 4 the speed ratio is given by phi is equal to 2 by 3 cos of alpha 1 where alpha 1 is equal to nozzle angle with respect to tangential direction okay this is again a super important question in this module okay next is most important one construction and working of reciprocating pump gear pumps and van pumps definitely they will ask one among these three okay so you should focus on the diagrammatic part and try to cover the working principles next is write down engineering applications of positive displacement machines so this is all about your module 3 that is why i call it the passing module over there okay as you already know there are two two chapters from each module okay you can uh, neglect or you can leave one module but it depends totally upon the luck in the examination as there is the intermixing of questions right so uh, i have taken only uh, the mixture of questions were here okay which you should go through and next one is the module first that is again a passing module in which you have to cover derive the condition for minimum work in a two-stage reciprocating air compressor using this condition obtain the expression for minimum work in a two-stage compression with intercooler this is the most important question i can say 90 percent i'm giving you the assurance that this question will appear in the examinations over there okay so make it star mark over there next uh, this will be the 10 marks or 12 marks sometimes next is the deriving expression for the optimum pressure ratio to get minimum work in case of a two-stage reciprocating air compressor what are the advantages of multi-stage compression derive an expression for work done in a single stage compressor neglecting clearance next important will be with a block diagram explain multi-stage compressor and you have to practice some problems on compressors so you uh, you can neglect ic engine part as uh, i earlier told you there are two two chapters okay in this particular module there are two chapters one is the uh, reciprocating air compressor another one is ic engine so you can easily neglect ic engine part as vast syllabus is there so go through only this much portion and practice problems uh, you should refer uh, the paper atd applied thermodynamics of the 18 scheme subject code is 18 me 42 so try to collect the papers of atd and try some problems on these particular compressors over there so that you can easily get uh, 10 to 15 marks from this particular module okay this is all about the uh, third and first module now let me discuss another module another module is fourth which is again a passing module okay in which you have to cover write down the classification of hydraulic turbines okay explain various headers and efficiencies of hydraulic turbines okay already i have makes i think notes of it so you can go through see here this is the classifications of hydraulic turbines okay and also i have write down uh, the efficiencies were here and also some derivation part okay so you should go through and explain various headers and efficiencies of hydraulic turbines derivations like work done by the pelton wheel show that the maximum hydraulic efficiency of a pelton wheel turbine is given by uh, n of 
beta of b maximum is equal to this is efficiency 1 plus c b cos of beta upon 2 okay most important one there are an expression for force power and efficiency of a pelton turbine assuming no friction losses with the help of velocity triangles okay next is draw neat sketch of a francis turbine and draw the inlet and outlet velocity triangles explain function of a draft tube or they may ask you what is the draft tube and mention it is types explain the functioning of a kalpan turbine with the help of a sectional arrangement diagram this is the first chapter okay as i earlier told you there are two two chapters from each module so i have taken the questions from another chapter also of this particular module four that is your define the following static head cavitation priming multi-stage centrifugal pumps efficiencies of centrifugal pump right there are an expression for minimum starting speed for a centrifugal pump this is super important question next is define the following for a centrifugal pump one is manometric head suction head net positive suction head right next is derive an expression for the static pressure rise in the impeller of a centrifugal pump with velocity triangles again super important one Next is with a neat sketch explain centrifugal pumps in series and parallel with the diagrams. What are the different types of casings used in centrifugal pumps? So this is all about module fourth over here. Okay, both chapters I have cleared. If you want to cover one chapter only, but uh, I have told you it totally depends upon the luck, uh, as there is the intermixing of questions over here. Okay, this is these are the three passing modules. Now let me cover another rest two modules over here. So now from the module second, okay, you have to cover these questions like wet bulb temperature, WBT, dew point temperature, DPT, relative humidity, specific humidity, degree of saturation, dry bulb temperature. And what is the refrigerant? Mention different types of refrigerants and explain desirable properties of refrigerants. This is a super important question. Next is the with a neat sketch explain working principle of uh, among these two definitely they will give one question that is vapor compression refrigeration system and vapor absorption refrigeration system and uh, with the ts and ph diagram most important ones okay you should take care of these explain working principle of air refrigeration system with pv and ts diagrams next super important that is with a neat sketch des uh, des describe the working of a reverse Carnot cycle with pv and ts diagram with neat sketch explain the working of summer air conditioning system winter air conditioning system and for problems you should again refer atd that is applied thermodynamics 18 me 42 is the subject code try to collect previous year question papers if you are not able to collect let me know in the comment section so that i will upload those papers on my instagram account over there okay so that you can practice well for the problems and you will get idea what type of questions which is asking for this particular module okay so this is all about module second now let me come to the module fifth it again consists of two chapters where you have to cover uh, these questions like uh, with reference to centrifugal air compressor explain the following choking surging slip factor and pressure coefficient what are the types of diffuser used in centrifugal compressor with a neat sketch and velocity triangles explain different van shapes of the centrifugal compressor define the slip and slip coefficient in centrifugal compressor also explain the effect of slip in centrifugal compressor compressor uh, discuss engineering applications of centrifugal fans blowers and compressors describe the actual performance characteristics of centrifugal fans blowers and compressors over here define work done and degree of reaction in the context of centrifugal fans blowers and compressors over here and explain the types of centrifugal fans blowers and compressors you should have some quality to knowledge about this highlighting their differences in construction and working principles provide examples for each okay or you can go through its or part that is your steam turbine that is defines steam turbine list the difference between impulse and reaction steam turbines explain working principle of impulse turbine and also write down the expression for work done in a two-stage velocity compound turbine most important one deri uh, derivation is here describe the concept of reaction staging in steam uh, steam turbines also briefly explain reheat factor in steam turbines okay comparison between steam turbines and gas turbines and you have to practice some problems using Molière's chart okay these are the most important ones and simpler ones you should go through this part if i i will prefer you okay just go through the second chapter of steam turbine and try some problems on Molière's chart i hope uh, this uh, this much content will definitely help you in passing this sub, sub uh, passing this subject not only passing if somebody wants to score they can easily refer these uh, 
type of questions over here who want to pass and I have discussed it the passing modules so go through those passing modules and uh, practice some problems from the rest of the modules over here make sure you will share this video to all your friends who are struggling in the subject I wish you all the best for your examination